Welcome to The Spread. I'm Matt Rabel. The Senate Banking Committee voted 14 to 10 in favor of sending the nomination of Gary Gensler, the Biden administration's pick for the new head of the SEC, to the Senate floor for confirmation. Gensler previously had a stint as the head of the Commodity Futures Trading Commission between 2009 and 2014. Gensler's nomination still needs to be confirmed, but it sure looks like he's set to be the new guy. Speaking of the Senate Banking Committee, a hearing was held Tuesday on the Senate floor to discuss the impact that trading platforms like Robinhood are having on the markets, as well as the economy at large, especially in light of the recent meteoric rise of GameStop stocks and heightened volatility fueled by retail traders. One of the hot button issues debated at the hearing was payment for order flow, which is when market makers pay brokers for their order flows, which is how Robinhood makes a lot of its money. Democrats argued that it creates an unfair conflict of interest and should be illegal, while Republicans argued that if payment for order flow was illegal, zero commission trading would become a thing of the past. One thing's for sure, this will continue to be a hotly debated topic for a while. In other news, if approved, a new ETF will literally trade under the ticker symbol FOMO. The proposal was filed this week with the SEC by Connecticut-based Tuttle Tactical Management LLC. To my non-millennial or Gen Z audience members, FOMO stands for Fear of Missing Out. The actively managed ETF will target stocks, SPACs, derivatives, any investment product that could be considered an emerging trend. The filing says that frequent trading of FOMO may result in a, quote, high portfolio turnover rate. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Tuttle Tactical Management is also reportedly working on something called the Fat Tail Risk ETF, a more conservative fund meant to be a kind of hedge for FOMO that focuses on things like gold and treasuries. Check out johnlothiannews.com for more news and musings. We've got a new article written by John Lothian about sending his oldest son and his friends to Hogwarts. Not literally, you'll have to read the article to see what I mean. We've also got an interview with, by John with Ram Vital, CEO of Marex North America, an article written by me about a VIX-like Bitcoin volatility index executing its first options trade, and an article by Suzanne Cosgrove about climate-friendly investment. That's it for the spread this week. Stay safe and happy trading. Mm -hmm.